Hi, this is Tremonaire with uh, zombiebotting.com and the new ugxmods.com. Um, this is going to be a tutorial about adding sounds to the game to use in your um, to use in your map, um, to use on your menu, whatever. Um, and this is a fucking annoying process. You know, it's so annoying that it got to the point where I had to write down my own. Uh, notes on how to do it because every damn time I'd come, I I try to do it and I wouldn't be able to remember how I did it, or I'd do a, a step out of order and I'd just be screwed for the whole rest of the process. So I'm gonna go through the steps here before I do it so that it's very clear as to what you do and um, I'll probably if I remember I'll put this in the video description so that you can copy it and save it for yourself. So first important point is you need Audacity 1.3 beta. Um, and you need to save it in the correct format and you need to make sure you clear the tags on all sounds that you export. I'll show what that means later. If you don't clear the tags, oddly enough, it doesn't work. Um, then you copy the sound into the game, uh, into the COD folder, and then you add it to a sound alias, and then you include it in your mod.ff, and then you build sounds in FF, then you copy the compiled sound that you just built from raw sound to mod sound and then lastly you build the IWD and FF at the same time after checking the sound in the IWD window okay so let's see what am I going to add I'll add let's see I'll just change my I will change I will add a new song to the to the music box in in my game in my map Gastoff. So first we're going to need a song to put in there. Let's see what should I use? Um Uh, probably one of these would be good. Let's see. Which one of these is better? That one's pretty bad. I'll add that one. Okay. So I'm going to copy... Well, I'm not going to have to copy that. I'm just going to open Audacity. Um, um, file open and copy. The, oh, that's not going to help me in this window. Music. Okay. And then this is optional, the step. Um, I usually do it. Tom suggested it. It keeps down file size. If you do stereo track to mono, you can't really tell the difference. When there's lots of other sounds going on, you can't really tell that it's mono. I wouldn't worry about it. Just do it. It'll save space in your in your overall uh, map file size. Then you go to File Export, and you name it something without special characters in it. Um, and then you choose Other Uncompressed Files, and then you click Options, and you choose Wave, and you choose Unsigned 8-bit PCM. And you click OK and you click Save. This is the part I was talking about with the clear tags. See, it has the artist name, track title, and any other crap that's been embedded into the file. You cl hit Clear and then you click OK. And I'll export it. And you can go ahead and close this and discard the project because we're not going to come back. And then go ahead and copy or cut that file and go to World at War. Uh, let's see, raw. Uh, no, not raw. Sound assets, capital R raw sound, and then you can make a folder in here. Or you can organize it however you want, but I'm just going to drop it in there. Okay, and then we go to the World of War root, and then we go into raw sound aliases. Okay, and if you've if you've already done the music box tutorial and you have working sounds in that, just add it to your music box. Um, CSV. The only the only uh, warning flag for that is if you're adding an obscure sound like uh, menu music, 
Um, if you're changing the Pat Machine jingle, um, gun sounds, okay, they all need to have the correct header for the sound alias up here. There's a header with, with all the names of what... This is basically a comma-separated document in, in a very crude form. Um, and each each comma means an, a different value, and the names for all the values are up here. So if you if you paste in a you know a gun a gun uh, a sound for a gun line, it'll have it may or may not have uh, the amount of commas that that match what's represented up here. So you just want to make different sound aliases for different categories of sounds. This is music, so I'm going to put it in with all my other music. Uh, I also have a f sound alias for menu sounds and gun sounds, etc. So, what you're going to want to do is just copy one of the lines that's already here. This is the same process for every single sound alias you ever do. You want to copy one of the lines that's already there because it'll be formatted correctly. And then you want to give it a, a, a sound alias. I'm going to just name this lights. And then you want to put in the file name. And since I didn't add it to a folder, I'm just going to put the file name. If I put it in a folder called music, I'd put music slash lights okay and then the volume is right here if these are both one that will be at max volume I don't know if you can go over one I've never tried uh, and then save and then next on the list we copied the sound we added it to a sound alias so now we have to add sound comma alias name to your mod.ff so go ahead and open launcher or open the, the mod.csv if you prefer Go to your mod, and then copy a line if you don't if you already have one. Otherwise, type it. You want sound comma no space and then the alias name, which was lights. Then you want to tick build mod.ff and build sounds, just like it says on on line six here, and then go ahead and hit build. And depending on how clean your installation is, you may get updated one file, or you may get updated 50-something files. R you know, regardless of what this says, um, just assume it worked. And the way you tell it worked is if you go into Call of Duty Root, and then you go into Raw Sound, you should find, if you put in a folder, there'll be a new folder here that matches what you created, and if not, you should be able to find just the file right here. Go ahead and try playing it. Okay, it still, still works, so that's good. That means it converted. So we go ahead and copy that, and we go back to our root folder, and we go to mods, and then your map name, and then sound. And if you put it in a folder before, you have to put it in the same folder again. If not, just drop it in there. Okay, and then close that. And then uh, we just did line 7. Now let's lastly do line 8. So we un uncheck this, check that, and we find sound here. Uh, there's sound. Okay, uh, where is it? Oh, if it doesn't show up, click your map again and it'll refresh the file names. Uh, god damn it, I hate looking through this stupid thing. It's the most inefficient way they could have done it. Uh Okay, lights, there it is. Build mod. Okay. And since I'm adding this for the music box, I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm gonna have to edit a script file too, and I might as well just show you that just in case you're having problems with your music box. <sighs> I'll go ahead and open that while that's loading. Mods, map name, maps, uh mod let's see, what's the name of that? music box um, where the fuck is it oh here it is Tom music player okay uh, okay here's all my songs Let's see I think I have the thing filled up let me check my menu this is irrelevant to you but um, I just want to see what slots I haven't filled, if any, and if not, I'll figure out which one I want to replace. Uh, script menus.
Okay. Um, so we have 18 lines. Let me. This is a. St okay, let me check this. I just want to look at a screenshot. Oh shit, that's for the bank. That's not going to help me. Uh, well, I'll just assume I've used them all up. Let's see, what do I care about? This is a pretty... This song's too quiet, so I'll just replace it with something else. Um... Okay. Um, so let's see, which option is that? It's right after Lay Down by Priestess, so... Uh shit. It's faster to just click the file again and figure out where the tab is. Alright, where's lay down? There it is. So let's replace that with lights, because that's the name of our sound alias. Save that. And because I'm lazy, I'm just gonna drag it into the into my mod.iwd because I don't want to wait for the IWD to compile again. I already waited once. Okay, maps. Track that baby in there. And launch the game. Hopefully this will record uh, with Camtasia, I'm not sure. did not update the menu, so it still has the incorrect menu. But there it is, and it's 7, and you hear it. Shit! Run it low on ammo! The fuck up. Okay, so that's how you add a new song, or any music file. 